Hi everyone, welcome to Thunder Bay Public Library's Learning with the Library. I understand you're looking for books to read on your new Kobo. The best place to start will be at our Thunder Bay Public Library launch page at www.tbpl.ca. When you come to this screen, you will want to select Digital Content. From here, you can navigate the various products we have for databases, books, music, movies, and the like. Today, we're going to talk about books on Kobo and the service called Cloud Library. You can read a little bit more about Cloud Library from this page. And once you've done that, you can click on the link at the left named Cloud Library, which lights up when you hover over it. When you get to this page, it will provide you with a large amount of information, but for our purposes, the best thing to do to navigate the entire system is to click on Login before you start. It will ask for your library card number and your library PIN. This is the home page or the landing page for Cloud Library and by default it always begins with the Featured Collection. The Featured Collection is essentially Thunder Bay Public Library's top picks or books that are coming in soon. Please note this Featured Collection does not list everything that we have. If you want to browse everything that Cloud Library has on your behalf, you need to select Browse on the top of the navigation bar. At the top, you'll see some genres or subject headings that you can choose to complete your selection of the content you wish to see every time you log into Cloud Library. For example, if you don't see any Christian items and you would like to see that kind of content next time you log in, simply click Christian Items and it will add that type of content to your options for books. Again, you might think, is this all Cloud Library has? It doesn't look like there's anything in it for me. But if you scroll to the right, you'll see an arrow that allows you to browse through under each heading. We will discuss My Books and Messages in a few moments. For now, we're going to browse the catalog. Today's presentation is about Kobo, and Kobo's will only display print material to you. They cannot play audiobooks. While you are scrolling through the catalog, you will see a title page, and sometimes you will see a title page with a headphone icon. This will indicate it is an audiobook. Now what I like to do, even before I start looking or browsing for books, is apply a filter. And what that does is sets the type of book that I'm looking for right off the top. So by clicking Filter, I'm going to set rules to show me only ebooks. When I deselect audiobooks, this will mean I don't want to see any listing for audiobooks while I'm browsing. And I don't want to browse through all titles. We might have thousands of titles in the database, but I only want to see what I can borrow right now. When I close this dialog box, my content will change based on those parameters. Now I can browse the type of book in the format that I want. I think I'm going to borrow this title right here. By selecting the title page, you will actually see the back of the book. The same as if you were browsing the shelves here in the library. You could flip it over and actually read what the book is about. So I'm interested in this title. I'm going to borrow this book. By clicking on it, it is now placed on my card and I have a few options from here. Read return the book, or download it for offline reading. We're going to do that later. I'm going to continue browsing, so I'm going to close this title's dialog box. And I think I will check this one out too. The novel's author is Beth O'Leary. Cloud Library will display reader's advisory suggestions for this author. If we have other books by Beth O'Leary in Cloud Library, they will be displayed down here. Interestingly, this book is in Spanish, but I'm going to borrow it anyway. I'm going to close the dialog box again, and now I have two books that I potentially could read. Perhaps I'd like to put a book on hold. To do that, I need to go back and change the filter settings. I'm going to select Show Me eBooks and Show Me Everything. So this book, Wish You Were Here by Jody Picot, is not available for another 182 days, but I want to get on this hold list, and I can do that by clicking Place Hold. Don't be concerned when you see a book that takes forever to get, because sometimes our librarians will purchase extra copies and move that queue through quicker. So now I want to see what's on my card. 
I'm going to select the My Books option, and it will show me that I have a couple books from before, and the book that I had just previously selected. I can also select My Holds, which will display the books that I'm waiting for for future reading. If I ever want to see my reading history from Cloud Library, the History feature will show everything that I have checked out in the past. One additional item that is really nice about Cloud Library is the Flag feature while you're in Browse mode. Perhaps you do not want to commit to reading a specific book right now or placing a hold on it. However, you would just like to remember this title for the future. I can flag it like this. One click turns it blue, and when I get back to my books and look at the flags, you can see the book here that I might find interesting later on, but I've never actually taken this book out or put a hold on it yet. Let's go back to my books and the reading view. These are the two books I had previously selected right here. So what I need to do in order to read the books on the Kobo is first transfer them onto a computer. In order to do that, I need to download for offline reading. You can see activity happening at the bottom of my computer screen, and I'm going to download the other title as well. And now some activity concerning that book has occurred. Now what this has done is put the books onto my computer in the download folder, and I need to move them from downloads folder into a program named Adobe Digital Editions. Adobe Digital Editions translates the book from PC language into Kobo language. Let's open up Adobe Digital Editions. I will select File, then select Add to Library. In my download folder, I need to find the EPUB files. To do so, I need to change this to Adobe Content. And there are the two books that I downloaded a minute ago. I need to select them both, then drop them into Adobe Digital Editions. You can think of Adobe Digital Editions as a bookshelf in your living room. This is where you park your books until you're ready to read them. And right now, it's showing you that the ADE bookshelf has two titles. That's great, but what we really want to do is read it on the Kobo because we might be heading on a plane or a cruise or in the backyard. Now you're going to take your cord that's included with the Kobo and plug the larger end into the USB port of your computer. You also need to make sure that the Kobo screen says powered off. It cannot be in sleep mode. It cannot be in the middle of a book. Press the power button on the machine until the screen says powered off and then let go of the button at that point. Next, plug the other end of the Kobo cord into the actual Kobo device and in about three to five seconds, you'll have activity on the Kobo. After plugging the Kobo into the laptop or PC, you're going to get a message on the Kobo screen saying, computer detected. Would you like to connect your e-reader to the computer to manage files? You're going to select the square that says connect. And if you watch the computer screen, the Kobo then appears green. We have one library book currently highlighted. Christmas is Cancelled is the other book. What we need to do is highlight one. It turns blue when selected with my left mouse button, and I'm going to hold the left mouse button down, drag, and drop the file over my Kobo. That's book number one. We're going to do the same for book number two, drag and drop. A small plus symbol appears as it nears your Kobo. And now I have two books, or in theory, I have two books on my Kobo. I'm going to go down here to the control center, eject the Kobo from the machine so that it stops communicating with the computer, then unplug the Kobo device from the computer, and in a couple seconds, the Kobo will read importing or processing content. We will then notice that two books have been added, the first title, Christmas is Cancelled, and then the second title, followed along. When I select one of the titles or the covers, the book opens up and now I can navigate the book by flipping its pages. Using a Kobo is a little convoluted and not intuitive, but it's not difficult once you get the hang of things. Go to the Cloud Library website, borrow the book, download the book, transfer the files over to Adobe Digital Editions on a computer, and transfer the files over to the Kobo once you've connected it to the PC. Make sure that the Kobo always reads powered off when you plug it in. 
power on your device after the transfer is complete and the COBOL is safely ejected. And that's it. If you require any assistance, please contact coaches at tbpl.ca. Thank you.